Hi everyone. Welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to render images and animations in Blender 4.2 step by step. Let's get started. Open a new Blender file. Hit the A key to select all default objects and the X key to delete. Let's create a simple scene for rendering. Press Shift A and add a plane. S key to scale up. Add a monkey head. Move the monkey above the plane. Add a subdivision surface modifier. Right click and make shade smooth. Let's add materials. Press Z key to switch to material preview. With the monkey selected, go to the material properties tab and click the new button to add material. Pick any base color. Select the plane and add a new material. Set the roughness value to 0.1 to have a reflective surface. All right, let's render the scene as an image file. First, we need a camera. Press Shift A and add a camera. Press Ctrl Alt Numpad 0 to align the camera to the view. You can also set the camera's aspect ratio and resolution. Go to the Output Properties tab. The default resolution is 1080 pixels full HD. The aspect ratio is 16 by 9. If you set the resolution to 4K quality, it will take a longer time to render. If you want to render an image for an Instagram post, you can set the X and Y resolution values to 1080 pixels. If you want to render an image for Reels, Shorts, or TikTok, you can set the aspect ratio to 9 by 16. You can also adjust the camera perspective. Lock the camera to the view by pressing the lock icon. Select the monkey and adjust the camera angle by rotating, panning, and zooming. Unlock the camera again after adjusting the perspective. You can switch between the camera and user perspectives by clicking the camera icon, or you can press numpad 0 on the keyboard. All right. Press Z key to switch to render preview mode. You can use a light source or environment texture for lighting. Press Shift A and add sunlight. Press double R key to adjust the sunlight angle. Click the lamp icon to increase the strength of the sunlight. Go to the render properties tab. Select the render engine from the menu. You can select the Cycles Render Engine to have a realistic scene. However, it takes a longer time to render. EV is a real-time render engine that takes a shorter time to render a scene. Under the Render section, you can set the maximum sample value. A higher number of samples reduces noise and is more accurate, but increases render time. Don't forget to enable the Denoise option. It removes noise in the render result. Go to the Render menu, and render the image. Or, you can press F12. That's it. To save the render result, go to the Image menu and save the image in JPEG, PNG, or another image file format. You can also use environment texture for lighting. Go to the hdrihaven.com website and download any HDRI image for free. I will share the download link in the video description. Go back to Blender and delete the sunlight. Go to the World Properties tab, click the Color node, Environment Texture, and open the HDRI we have just downloaded. Press F12 to render the image. All right, let's learn how to render a transparent background image in Blender. Go to the Render Properties tab, Scroll down to the Film panel and enable the Transparent option. So the world background becomes transparent. Go to the Outliner Editor, hide the plane in the viewport and the render result. So the plane will be invisible in the render result. Press F12 to render the image. Go to the Image menu and save the image in PNG format. Choose the RGB Alpha Color channel for transparency and download the image, so you can overlay the image on another image. 
Let's unhide the plane in the viewport and the render again. Go to the render menu and switch the render engine to Eevee. As you can see, it doesn't cast a shadow. In Blender 4.1 and older versions, HDRI images didn't cast a shadow in Eevee. In Blender 4.2, Eevee also casts shadows now. Go to the World Properties tab, open up the Settings panel, and enable the shadow option. That's it. Go to the Render Properties and enable the Ray Tracing option. So you can see the indirect lights and reflections on the surface. All right, now let's learn how to render animations in Blender. Select the monkey head, hit the K key, add a location, rotation, and scale keyframe at frame one. Go to the frame 50. Hit the S key to scale down, G key to move, and R key to rotate. Hit the K key to add another location, rotation, and scale keyframe. In the same way, go to frame 100 and another one. Go to the first frame and play the animation. To render the animation, go to the render menu and ensure that Eevee is selected because you can get animation render faster than cycles. Go to the Output Properties tab and set the render resolution value. I want to render in 1080 pixels full HD. If you increase the render quality, it will take a longer time to render. Select the animation FPS value. FPS stands for frames per second. It's a measure of how many individual frames are displayed in one second of video or animation. Set the end frame of the animation to 100, because the animation ends at frame 100. In the output section, open the file browser and select any location to save the animation. Choose the MPEG format for the video render. Open up the encoding panel and switch the container type to MPEG4. Then go to the render menu and render the animation. Or you can press Ctrl F12. That's it. You can also make transparent background animation render. I already made a tutorial about it. You can watch the tutorial from the top link. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.